Web design is broken. And the insurers aren't even gonna cover it because I've only got third party. Huh. Go figure. Six seconds. Six seconds is all you have when a person lands on your website to convince them to stay. Do you know how short that is? Six seconds, let's go. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Like literally, if you don't have someone's attention and if you don't give someone on your website enough of a reason to stay in six seconds, then they're gone. And that's it. They're going to bounce. They're going to hit that back button. So how do you convince people to stay longer than six seconds? You give them a value proposition. So what is a value proposition? It's a statement of the value that you're gonna to bring to that visitor. What it isn't is a slogan. It's like if you go onto the Nike website and it said high performance sports clothing and equipment for the new generation of athletes, something like that. That tells you what they do. So the question is, question is, how do you find your value proposition? A lot of businesses out there might have this already, but if you don't, here's a little, little trick that you can do to find it. And the trick is read the content that you've written already. Because so many times what I see uh, when I'm looking at people's websites, when people are asking me for advice, it's that they start off when they're trying to describe their, their, their services or their product, they describe it normally like two paragraphs. First, you've got like the headline um, and the headline can normally be thrown away. Then you've got like this first opening paragraph about what it is. It's always like airy fairy and there's solutions and there's engagement and there's excitement and all sorts of things like that. And then you get to the second paragraph and the second paragraph is like, I don't know if you've ever been on a creative process where you need to like hammer out some ideas to get to the end point and you have to go through this process of getting all the first ideas out of your head because they're normally just obvious and then once you've got those first ideas out of your head then you start getting to like the real deeper meaning and so this happens in the second paragraph. I've seen it time, 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 and time again. And the first sentence of the second paragraph, they tend to sum up so beautifully and so succinctly what it is they do and what value they bring to their customers that, you know, the amount of times I've said, okay, okay, first sentence of your second paragraph, take that, let's put that at the top of the page, front and center, because that is it, you have nailed it there. So if you want a nice, quick, and easy way to figure out your value proposition if you haven't already got a couple of paragraphs worth of content on your website then write a couple of paragraphs about what it is you do uh, why you're better than the competition I guarantee you the first sentence of the second paragraph you write is gonna nail it my name's Aaron Taylor I'm helping you to make better decisions and have better conversations when you're buying or improving your website till next time